Good morning children welcome back in today's session we are going to continue our learning process of class 6 term 2 unit 1 in history vedic culture in north india and megalithic culture in south india this is part 3 of the video series come children let us learn before going into details of today's session let us have a recap of what we learned in the last one Dears in the last session we discussed about the Vedic culture the phase of urbanization in India came to an end with the decline of the Indus civilization and a new era called the Vedic age began with the arrival of the Aryans the Aryans were Indo-Aryan language speaking semi-nomadic pastoralists they came from central asia in several waves of migration through khyber pass of hindu kush mountains Though cattle rearing was their main occupation they also practiced slash and burn agriculture The Rigvedic polity was kinship based Kula was a basic unit of the polity The main responsibility of the rajan was to protect his tribe The social organization of Vedic family was patriarchal the fair complexioned aryans distinguished themselves from the dark complexioned non aryans whom they called as dasyus and dasas within the early vedic society there were three divisions the three the general public were called vais the warrior class was called kshatriyas and the priestly class was named as brahmanas at a later stage when the aryans had to accommodate non aryan skilled workers in their social arrangement a rigid fourfold varna system was developed that is the priestly brahmanas the warrior kshatriyas land owning owning vaishyas and the skilled workers shudras thus a graded social order emerged in rigvedic society women relatively enjoyed some freedom the wife was respected as a mistress of the household in later vedic period the role of women in society as well as their status even within the family declined the economy in the vedic period was sustained by a combination of pastoralism and agriculture Though the occupation of Rigvedic Aryans was cattle rearing there were carpenters chariot makers potters smiths weavers and leather workers ochre colored pottery was attributed this to this period the animals that were domesticated include horses cows goats sheep oxen and dogs in the later vedic period the aryans tamed elephants apart from cow goat sheep and horse Pottery of this period was painted grey ware culture. The Rigvedic Aryans worship mostly the earthly and celestial gods like Prithvi, Agni, Vayu, Varuna, Indra. Their religion was yagna based. The mode of prayer was recitation of Vedic hymns. They followed a gurukula system in ancient learning method. Dear children in this session we will discuss about the contemporary culture in South India and Tamil Nadu. Dear children now let us learn about the contemporary culture in South India and Tamil Nadu The early Vedic culture in northern India coincided with the charcoalithic culture that prevailed in other parts of subcontinent so in the northern side it was early Vedic culture and whereas the other parts it was charcoalithic culture since people used copper or charcoal and stone lithic it was called as charcoalithic period people used copper which is charcoal as well as stone lithic and it was called as charcoalithic period though charcoalithic culture of india was contemporary to the mature phase of harappan culture they continue to exist even after the decline of the later they were at, at the same time the harappan culture as well as the charcoalithic culture of india they were contemporary they were all at the same time but the even after the decline of the harappan culture the charcoalithic culture continue to exist The later Vedic culture in North India and the Iron Age in South India belong to the same same period. So you can see the later Vedic culture in North India plus the Iron Age in South India were the same period. Dears, towards the end of Iron Age, people stepped into what is known as megalithic culture. So they stepped into a culture known as a megalithic culture. That is six hundred B.C., B.C.E., and hundred A.D. 
Now, what is megalith? Megalith means structures made of such large stones which are put together without the use of mortar or cement. So, you can see the structure made of stone. Megalithic period in ancient Tamilagam synchronized with the pre Sangam period. So, it was along with this pre Sangam period. The black and red ware pottery became characteristics of the megalithic period. Another important factor was the black and red ware pottery. Dear children, now let us learn about some of the megalithic or Iron Age archaeological sites in our Tamil Nadu. The first one we are going to learn about is Adi Chanalur, which is in Tutukuri district. Among the artifacts unearthed were urns, pottery of various kinds, which is red ware, black ware, iron implements, daggers, swords, spears, and arrows some stone beads and a few gold ornaments. So these people, these products were unearthed. They were urns, big burial pots and potteries of various kind which was made of red color as well as black. There were iron implements, tools made of iron and there were daggers which was used for cutting or killing, swords, spheres and arrows. We could also excavate some stone beads and gold. Bronze objects representing domestic animals and wild animals like tiger, antelope and elephant have been unearthed. So they, we could also unearth some bronze objects like tiger, antelope and elephant. The people were skillful in making pottery and in working stone and wood. So they were very skilled people who was very skilled in pottery as well as working on stone and wood. In the picture, you can see the uh, black and red pottery as well as the iron implements and you can also see the intricate design on the pottery. The next picture shows the urns which were used for burial and you can see how neatly it was arranged. The next important site is Kiradi which is in Sivagangai district. The Archaeological Survey of India or ASI excavated an ancient town dating to Sangam age in Kiradi village at Tirupurvam Taluk. The excavation have produced evidence for brick buildings and well laid out drainage system. So you can see in Kiradi you can find brick buildings as well as well laid out neat drainage system. Tamil Brahmi inscription on pottery, beads of glass, carnelian and quartz, pearl, gold ornaments and iron objects, shell bangles, ivory dyes have been unearthed. So from Kiradi they have excavated Tamil Brahmi inscriptions on pottery, beads of glass, carnelian and quartz. You can find beads made of glass, carnelian and quartz, pearl, gold ornaments and iron objects. Bangles made of shell, dyes made of ivory. In 2017, ASI sent two samples of these four radiocarbon dating to Beta Analytic, Florida, USA. So, to find out the age of this product, the ASI has sent in 2017 the samples of the excavation to the analytical center in Beta Analytic. Florida and they dated samples as 200 BC and they have said that the age of these samples is back to 200 BC. Roman artifacts found at the site add to the evidence of ancient Indo-Roman trade relations. They have also excavated Roman artifacts that is there was ancient Indo-trade relations existing. Dear children, Periplus, P-E-R-I-P-L-U-S, Periplus is a manuscript document that lists the ports and coastal landmarks in order and with approximate intervening distances so that a captain of the vessel could expect to find along a coast. So that gives description about the coast. And the Periplus mentions the steel imported to Rome from Peninsular India and it was subjected to duty in the port of Alexandria. So it mentions that the steel was imported to Rome from India and they paid duty in the port of Alexandria. You can see the picture of 
ivory dyes and the were various pot pottery used during that period now let us learn about porundal in dindigul district the finds include grave goods glass beads in red white yellow blue and green iron swords pottery with tamil brahmi scripts pots filled with rice semi precious metals such as quartz carnelian bangles made of glass and shell the discovery of iron sickle pike and tip of plow provide evidences that there had the practice of rice cultivation in tamil nadu a pot of rice from porundal site porundal site proves that the rice was a people staple food so people during that period had rice as a staple food and there is proof for that the picture shows the various finds from the porundal site you can see how the cultivation was and the site also is given there Dear children, on the picture you can find the finds from the Porundal site. You can see a pot of rice and the glass beads. Now we will learn about Payampilli in Velur district. The archaeological finds include iron artifacts along with megalithic black and red ware pottery have been found. Evidence of iron smelting has come to light at Payampilli. That is, they have melted iron. The date of this culture based on radiocarbon dating is 1000 BC. You can also find archaeological evidence in Ero district. The place is Kudumanal. It is identified with the Kudumanam of Pattirupada. More than 300 pottery inscriptions in Tamil Brahmi have been discovered here. Archaeologists have also discovered spindles. walls that is used for making thread from cotton and pieces of cloth along with tools weapons ornaments beads particularly carnelian so you can you can see that archaeologists have discovered the spindle and walls and pieces of cloth along with the tools and weapons ornaments beads a menhir found at burial site is assigned to the megalithic period we can find a menhir and it is assigned to the megalithic period dear children menhir m e n h i r menhir in breton language men means stone and hir means long they are monolithic pillars planted vertically into the ground in memory of the dead so the people who are dead in in their memory people will stand place vertically a long stones and that is called as menhir menhir in sri rangapalayam in tirupur district and at vembur in theni district point to the existence of an ancient settlement along the banks of river uppar so you can find uh, in near along the river uppar at two places we can find the settlements one is sri rangapalayam in tirupur as well as vembur in theni district menhirs are found at narasingapatti madurai district kumari kalpalayam and kudumanal in ero district so you can find menhirs in narasingapatti and kumari kalpalayam and kudumanal the picture shows some artifacts like beads and spindle and the site from which it is excavated dear children the megalithic monuments in tamil nadu the people who lived during the last stages of the new stone age began to follow the megalithic system of burial they had a system of burial called as megalithic system according to this system the dead body was placed in a big pot along with burial goods so there were urns or big pots and in that the dead body was placed along with the goods for burial the megalithic monuments bear witness to a highly advanced state of civilization with the knowledge of iron and community living so those people had the knowledge of iron as well as they lived in communities dolmens d o l m e n s dolmens are megalithic tombs made of two or more upright stones with a single stone lying across the burial site so you have two or more 
upright stones placed vertically and you can find a single stone lying across megalithic dolmens have been found in veera raghavapuram village kanchipuram district kumbala maruthupatti in dindigal district and in narasingampatti madurai district so in three places we can find dolmens which date back to megalithic period they are in kanchipuram district you can find it at veera raghavapuram in dindigal you can find it kumbala maruthupatti and in madurai you can find at narasingampatti what is a hero stone a hero stone is a memorial stone raised in remembrance of the honorable death of a hero so if there is a hero and he is passing away there is a memorial stone raised in his memory the person would be facing an honorable death in a battlefield or those who lost their lives while defending their village from animals or enemies so those are those who are protecting their village from animals or enemies or those who have an honorable death in a battle those people they have their stones raised in their memory and they are called as hero stones hero stones my dear children you can find at manur village near palani in the digal district velalan kote in tutikorin district and in puliman kombai in dindigal district so in three places you can find the hero stones before winding up the session let us have a summary the aryans migrated to india around 1500 bc the vedic texts form an important source of this period rigvedic polity was kinship based When the Aryans moved eastward the early settlements were replaced by their territorial kingdoms use of iron plow and axe helped more areas of land under cultivation new crafts and arts developed it paved the way for urbanization in the gangetic plain the later vedic society in north india and the iron age society in south india belong to the same period Now let us go through the glossary. Eternal, E T E R N A L. Eternal is existing forever. Kinship, K I N S H I P. Kinship is blood relationship. Patriarchal, P A T R I A R C H A L. Patriarchal is a system of society controlled by men. Deity. D E I T Y D T is a god or goddess. Contemporary C O N T E M P O R A R Y contemporary is living or occurring at the same time. Metallurgy M E T A L L U R G Y metallurgy is a branch of science and technology concerned with the properties of metals and their production. Before winding up today's session, let us have a recap. Dear children, in this session we discussed about the contemporary culture in South India and Tamil Nadu. We learned about Adi Chanalore in Thutukudi districts, which had artifacts like urns, pottery of various kinds, bronze objects of domestic animals, and so on. In Kerala, in Shivaganga district, ASI excavated an ancient town dating to Sangam age. There were evidences of brick buildings, well laid out drainage system, gold ornaments, iron objects, and even Roman artifacts. And the periplex mentions the steel imported to Rome from Peninsular India was subject to duty in the port of Alexandria. In the Dindigal district, you can find Porundal, and the archaeological finds include grave goods, glass beads, iron swords, pottery with Tamil Brahmi scripts. Pots filled with rice. In Velu district, you can find the archaeological site in Payambali, which had iron artifacts along with megalithic black and red ware pottery. Evidence of iron smelting has also come light. In Iro district, in Kudumal, archaeologists have discovered spindles, wares, and pieces of cloth with tools, weapons, ornaments, beads, and made of carnelian. 
a menhir has also been found which is associated with megalithic period dear children in the next session we will discuss about the book back exercises time for worksheet worksheet number 3 roman number 1 answer in one or two sentences question number 1 name some megalithic monuments found in tamil nadu name some megalithic monuments found in tamil nadu question number 2 write briefly about the archaeological site at kodumanal write briefly about the archaeological site at kodumanal with that we wind up today's session thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe our youtube channel youtube.com/samchirkalviguide thank you stay blessed